After my earlier episodes of Let's Shoot, a lot of people have asked me the same question. What to do if you're a bit scared or uncomfortable taking pictures of people on the street? My answer is that you will get over it. But to get started, you could utilize the ever so popular technique, zone focus with a 28mm equivalent lens. Normally, I use this combo to get shots on the run that I would otherwise have missed. Short moments where the picture needs to be taken now or never. For example, a bike or a moving train. But also people that you want to get close to and get the shots before they start to notice you. Coincidentally, this is also a good way of shooting for people with a bit of stage fright. After you've done it for a while, you will be comfortable enough to take out the bigger lenses and just go for it. I will say straight away that the shots that you will see me take in this video won't be great for two reasons. Number one, I can't do the stealth thing with this sort of contraption. And secondly, I can't walk like this and demonstrate taking pictures of sudden moments that pop up unexpectedly. Because walking like this, I'm quite prepared. To set it up, you need a camera and a lens that lets you set the focus distance and then keeps it there. Focus by wire lenses are rarely great for this, but there are exceptions. Fuji lenses tend to start drifting, it has happened to me with the 23mm f2 and the 16 1.4, but the 18mm f2 have been very solid. So has the X70. If you have a true manual lens, you can set the zone with the scale on the lens. If you don't have a scale, you can use an app called Hyperfocal Pro. A smaller aperture means a longer focus zone. I prefer an 18mm on APS-C since that combo will give you 1.8 meters to infinity already at f5.6 and 5 meters. And if I want it shallower, or need extra light, a quick turn to f2.8 gives me 2.7 to 27 meters. And with a 28mm equivalent, framing is super easy, since pretty much everything is in frame. This lets you practice from the hip shooting. Like everything else, it's a skill. After a while, you will be able to accurately frame longer lenses without looking. The notion that this is just some sort of spray and pray technique is just something that people who doesn't get it like to say to feel better about themselves. Another aspect of this that will help with the stage fright is the ability to point the camera away from the subject and still have them in frame. In order to try illustrating how I normally operate when doing this, I will set it up with the action camera again and then just ignore it. In other words, get ready for a bumpy boring ride. And again, the images won't be anything special. They are for demonstrational purpose only. That's it, like I said, after you're over the initial fear, you can start focusing like normal again and keep this technique for special occasions and getting those quick moments. Subscribe for upcoming episodes and follow me on Instagram for new pictures every day. Until next time, goodbye.